In this video, we'll see how to generate a square wave using timer 1 of PIC 16F877 microcontroller. So uh, I have selected the template file which is present in the uh, microchip folder. So you can use that template file and you can start writing your code after this main label. Uh, now in this program, I have uh, generated the square wave on port D of microcontroller. So uh, for that, I have to configure the port D as output port. And to do that, we have to use Tris D register. So this uh, value 00, 0 will uh, be sent to Tris D register. And once it is sent to Tris D register, port D will be configured as output port. Next, we have set a default value uh, to port D uh, register that is 0, 00. So when the program will start, the initial value of port D will be 0, 00. After that, uh, we have configured the uh, timer 1 uh, using T1 con register. So again, uh, we have uh, used value 0, 04. So this is the format. So if you take a look at the uh, format of SFR T1 con, then you will come to know why this 0, 04 value is taken. Now here we have not used any prescaler. We have just used timer uh, for counting. Next, after that, we have loaded a value in timer one lower register and timer one higher register. So uh, this timer one is a 16 bit register. Out of that eight bit value is loaded in lower register and the remaining eight bit value is loaded in higher register. And both these registers are present in same bank. That's why only once this uh, statement is used, that is bank cell TMR1L. And uh, these values can be calculated uh, based on how much frequency you need at the output. And depending on that, we have to uh, do some calculations and find out the uh, count value. And that value must be loaded in these registers. After that, uh, we have used here uh, TMR1 on to turn on the timer. So this is the timer one turning on bit. So once this bit is made one, the timer will start counting. So to do that, we have used instruction BSF. That is bit set file. Uh, after that, we have used polling technique for uh, identifying whether the timer has overflowed or not. And to do that, we have to monitor the flag uh, that is TMR1IF. This is the timer one overflow flag which is present in PIR1 SFR. And we have used instruction bit test file skip if set. So uh, until and unless this flag is zero, uh, it will remain in this loop. And once the timer one overflows, this flag will automatically become equal to one. And this condition will be true. So it will skip this instruction that is go to back and it will execute the next instruction. So in this next instruction, we have cleared the uh, timer one overflow flag using the instruction bit clear file and after that we have just complemented the status of port d so uh, again from here we have jumped back uh, to loop so again the same values will be loaded inside the timer and the timer will continue the uh, generating the delay or the square wave so in this program we have generated the square wave to check the output we have to build the program and once it is built we can check it out check the output on the uh, logic analyzer so i have already uh, ran this program once that's why the output is already available but if it is not available you have to click on run wait for some time and click on halt so once you do that you, the square wave will be available here so you can zoom that square wave and the you can check the frequency if you want. So for that you can have cursors select at the starting edge and one at the final edge. So this is the uh, CPU clock cycles that are uh, used for generating a single wave, square wave. So based on the frequency, crystal frequency that you have used, we can find out the actual frequency of this square wave using this uh, count value that is 1 to 8 0. So the crystal frequency is also available here that is 10 megahertz. So doing some calculations you can uh, find out what is the exact frequency of this square wave. 
the link for this source code is available in the description of the window uh, you can download the source code thank you